The next control that we're going to learn is the checkbox control. What is a checkbox control? It gives you the the opportunity to provide the user with different options where you can give them a different checkbox control with uh, each uh, objective to either display something or write something or include something anything it is very flexible control it can control the behavior of the form it can control the results of the output so it, it depends on the logic that you put in it so in this form I have created the FRM checkbox control so in this form the objective is to display the text information or the M text information into these uh, check box, uh, text boxes here, and we have the check boxes uh, option here where we're going to control the behavior of the form. Okay, so let's uh, run this form and see the behavior of the check box. So let's select M text to display information. It displays the text string, it displays the text style, but it didn't display the, the height or the layer. Now, if we check on this height here, and I will try again to select the new M text. Now the height is displayed. If I uncheck the display height and then check the display layer checkbox, and then we select another text. Now the height is uh, not displayed and the layer is displayed. It's in the layer text. Alright, so this is uh, called the CHK height checkbox. This is called the CHK layer text box. And the code behind this is just for the command button. So first we just declare the M text to handle the selected M text. And we have the point. We just hide the form first so the user can select the object. And then these are two given information which we display in the first and second text boxes for the text string and the style now for the height this is where we put the control using the text box which means that if the chk height checkbox value is true if it's selected then we display the text height otherwise we get rid of the of any text in the text box same thing with the layer if it's uh, checked or if it's selected then we display the layer otherwise we display nothing okay so that's that's one of the way to control the text box behavior i mean the checkbox behavior however there is also a an event or a functions that the checkbox can do if let's say we double click on this checkbox it has a click event as well let's say if uh, they check on that uh, checkbox we're going to change the color to be the same as this uh, text string here okay so the color is the back color is this uh, hexadecimal here let's copy that over Control c so if uh, chk height dot value equals true which means it is selected then what we do is we change the color of the the text box we change the color of the text box here, the TXT height. 
So txd height dot back color equals that is the hexadecimal. And we also make sure that it is enabled. txd height dot enabled equals true. Else, if it's not checked, then txd height dot back color equals the, just the normal one, this one here, the, the white color. We also that enabled, we also maybe disabled it. Something like that. Alright, so let's try that out. Okay. See this one here? It becomes enabled. If I uncheck it, it becomes disabled. You cannot check on that one. It's already disabled. So that's how it works. For this G, uh, checkbox display layer, we haven't catered the code for that one yet. Let's do the same thing. So if chk layer dot value equals true, then we are going to txt layer dot back color equals let's just copy this over and we'll also enable it otherwise else we will disable it we can copy this code here and then just change the the name so now both of the checkboxes have the same behavior if they are checked then they will have a yellow color the back the background color and they will be enabled if they are unchecked then bring back the color to white and then uh, disable them let's try that See, let's try the height first, select and text to display, there it is. Let's also display the layer, there it is. So that's how the checkbox uh, behaves. It is very, very flexible. So depending on the logic that you put in it, then it will behave accordingly. Okay? So play with the checkbox, give it some other uh, criteria or conditions, like maybe display some other information, and see how it goes.